This is code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Principles course. I'm on Unit 3, Intro to Programming, Lesson 8, Creating Functions with Parameters, Part 16. Let's see. Consider these various uses of a random number. Each answer describes the use and shows a code example. Which one of the following is not a valid use of random number? Ooh. Oh, we just discussed this in the last puzzle. Awesome. All right. So calling the parameter of a function. So this draw square must be a function that we define and create somewhere. And so we're asking the computer to run that function. And for the parameter of draw square, we're going to set it to a random number between 25 and 75. And that makes sense, right? You could have a, maybe this is representing the square's length or side or whatever. And 25 to 75, that would work. I can call a function giving it some random number as the uh, argument or as the parameter. Defining the parameters of a function. So think about this one. It, this one does look a bit odd, but I'll go back to that. I want Let's go through all of these to make sure that looks strange. Moving the turtle around the screen. Okay, so random number is going to be between 25... Well, this would work, right? Because you can move the turtle around between 25 and 75. You just use a number to, say, move forward. Sure. Orienting the direction of a turtle, that would be in degrees, right? And degrees 25 to 75, that also makes sense. There are degrees between 25 and 75. Hmm, setting pen. Okay. So, heads up, as a teacher, when you hit submit on this, they are submitted to me. So, if you're my student, I see your answer once you hit submit. Okay, and you can't change it. So please think about this carefully. You cannot change it once you hit submit and I get your answers. So let's talk about this one first. Defining the parameter of a function. Now, we're creating a function here. So draw shape. There should be code in this. There, we're, we don't have anything yet, but, you know, maybe it's rectangle and then we're using something to, to draw out that rectangle. When you create a function... Do you create a function that would be draw shape and then your parameter is 12? No, you don't set a parameter, right? I don't write what a parameter equals in the function definition because there's no reason to have a parameter. If the parameter is going to be set to one thing or to one random number, just have random number part of your function inside of it. You don't need to have it as a parameter. Parameters are used for something that changes in your function due to the user input, right? So if I want to change something in my function, in my function call, that's what a parameter is for. If I want something to equal a random number inside of my function when I'm writing my function, I would just put the random number there. So if I want size to be random, when I say length 8 or whatever inside my function, I'll just put length random number. There's no reason you do not set a parameter to a to equal a specific number or a specific random number in the definition. You decide on that on in the function call. Okay? So that way you can use the length or you can change this when you are calling the function. Each time you use the function, you can use a random number if you want, but it's not static. It doesn't force you to. You would never do this. Do not set it to something specific like this. You just want it to be a variable type thing, like the word size, and then you can use that to represent the number when you call the function. When you call the function, you can use a random number, or you can use 10, or whatever you want. Do not set it like this, though. So let's give that one a shot. Uh, and this would work too, right? Because pin width, uh, is defi it needs a parameter of a number, so that would work fine. So let's do that. Ta-da! Awesome. Let's keep going. 